one. Hello, everybody. Today's discussion is with Mark Biani and Rob McKeffey, who are part of Capus's institutional sales team. Capus is an outsourced supplemental trading broker dealer with a specific focus on global and supplemental trading and commission management. Foresight recently entered into a strategic partnership with Capus to introduce potential clients who may be in need of Capus services. Mark, Robert, welcome to the latest Foresight Spotlight series. Thanks, John. Thanks for having us. Thanks, well, obviously, John. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Rob. Obviously, the benefits of our Spotlight series is that it delivers a real clear understanding about a company that one may not get from a prose verbs of a website, but it also delivers a timely illustration within the industry. So I'm really looking forward to you sharing your message with our listeners. Uh, we'll get to Capus in a moment, but initially I always prefer to start off on a bit of an individual or personal note. Uh, Mark, looking at your background, you've had a few really interesting roles in your career. How did you start out in the business and how did you end up at Capus? Well, I started out uh, way back when at a company called Lehman Brothers in securities lending sales which eventually morphed into uh, trading Japanese warrant arbitrage and creating tax-enhanced trading strategies off of uh, dividend withholding taxes, believe it or not. Uh, after leaving Lehman, after about seven or eight years, I went on to manage two different buy-side trading desks as well as a sell-side trading desk. And I spent a year on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange back in 1999 when the Dow hit 10,000 at the time. We had these... Mm -hmm. Dow 10,000 hats that were all handed out. So qu quite a ways back from where we are now. Uh, after that, and to this day, I've been involved in product development, innovative platform creation, and uh, sales all on the uh, brokerage side of the business. And that's what led me to Capus about uh, eight or nine years ago. That's great. Really interesting background, especially being on the floor of the exchange. That must have been a great experience. It was something else. <laughs> Rob, how about you? I'm sure the, the audience would love to hear a bit about your background as well. Yeah, thanks, John. I appreciate that. Yeah, I, I started my career back in the mid-80s, mid-1980s uh, with the Instanet, a company called Instanet, uh, a pioneer in electronic trading, algorithmic trading, uh, quantity, more of a quantitative broker-dealer. And, and from then, the 90s, I spent uh, the 90s at a firm called ITG, another pioneer in crossing, all institutional. I worked for several other broker dealers during that career. I managed a uh, co-managed a uh, market neutral hedge fund in 2006 for a few years, and then 2008 came, and we all know what happened then. But uh, very interesting working with Mark, you know, building out this product that we're going to be speaking about products we're speaking about. But uh, yep, it's that's that's my background. Thanks, John. Yeah, that's wonderful. I appreciate that. It's a really really interesting to see the you know, the backgrounds and the experience that you both have uh, coming to a great company like Capus. So that's that's a great start. Um, if we don't mind, let's start with the big picture. Uh, give us an overview of the firm, where you are today, and, and what you want to hear the, the audience to hear. Sure. Uh, Mark, I'll, I'll take that, if you don't mind. Sure. Absolutely. So, uh, Rob, yeah, Rob McAfee. Um, so Capital Institutional Services was started in 1977. Interestingly, they were the first uh, broker dealer to soft dollar Bloomberg machine in the day, and soft dollar since then has uh, certainly been, uh, you know, has flourished, and Capus has been in the the, the uh, forefront there. And uh, we are a you know agency broker dealer, institutional broker dealer. We're in fixed income equities. Internationally, we have a twenty four six desk. I was going to say twenty four seven, but it's twenty four six. And we trade in derivatives, you know, options, futures, uh, and with our products that we'll get to in a few minutes. So that's that's a good overview. That's great. That's great. Appreciate that. Um, why don't we go a bit deeper and discuss a little bit of the nuts and bolts of the service? Let's start with the outsourced and supplemental trading solutions. Uh, can you give an overview? Yeah, I'll take care of that one. Uh, this is Mark uh, Vianney again. Uh, so Capus officially started our outsourced trading desk about four years ago. Our traders on that desk uh, have both buy side and sell side experience, and they understand the intricacies of, of the buy side and the workings of an actual buy side desk, considering they mostly most of them have worked on the buy side at one time or another. 
Our clients consist mainly of hedge funds and registered investment advisors with assets under management anywhere from, let's say, $100 million to over $10 billion. The, the desk performs all the functions of a buy-side trading desk, including execution and actually more. Uh, we manage the client's commission wallet, and we're also able to trade with other brokers on behalf of our clients. So if our clients have research or soft dollar commitments, they don't just have to trade with Capus. Capus will handle all of the trading, and if we need to trade with 10 other research brokers, you know, large brokers, small brokers, it doesn't matter. We'll handle all of that execution for the client, and the client will get credit for trading with those particular brokers. So it's rather, uh, you know, rather interesting how, how that's really, you know, really working out well for our clients in that they, even though they have one-stop shopping coming to us, they're able to pay other brokers and get what they need so they can continually, you know, improve their, their, their alpha in their portfolios. Uh, one of the unique features of our outsourced trading offering is that we're the only outsourced trading desk that can aggregate institutional orders with wrap and custodial platform orders, as well as any directed brokerage orders. Our technology allows us to pro rata allocate each of these buckets and settle with a commission on the institutional order and a net price on the wrap and custodial platform order. So we, by using this technology that Rob and I have actually built, uh, we're able to aggregate all of these orders, you know, like, uh, you know, like symbol orders and trade them as a block. And in trading them as a block, it becomes very difficult for many firms to actually do the allocations when you have these different buckets. So uh, the, the platform that Rob and I have built is called ARC and ARC stands for allocation, reconciliation, and clearing. And Rob will talk to you more about that in a little bit. I want to keep more focused on the outsourced trading end. So given that more and more of these traditional RIAs are inquiring about outsourced trading, our capabilities in the wrap and custodial space really help these clients in, in their decision-making process. There are so many of these RIAs that have a portion of their AUM in the space, and the space, quite honestly, is about $10 trillion in AUM. There's quite a bit of money sitting in this wrap and custodial platform space, meaning where the customer is custodied at Fidelity, Pershing, um, TD, Schwab, like that, and other wrap sponsor platforms. So we're able to take care of these particular RIAs that have this unique set of, of let's call it this, this bucket of, of assets that they're managing in this very kind of ancient type of settlement system <laughs> to, to, to give it, you know, like I'm just trying to say that it's a, it's a very difficult situation for these managers to trade away from different platforms, settle away and do net step outs along with their institutional business. So we've, we've taken that and really worked it out so that it works out for our outsourced trading clients and others. Um, yes. No, that, that makes complete sense, Mark. I appreciate that overview. And, you know, given our client base of a lot of these RA firms, like we've talked about, I think that's a real uh, value add that you guys can provide the, those solutions. And, you know, to me, it also sounds uh, that you have a lot of flexibility in the system where they can come to you for a one-stop shop, but they can also come to you for specific uh, needs and instances that you may be able to, to to solve for. Right, exactly. And you know, in terms of the supplemental trading aspect of, of our desk, uh, we act as a, a backup desk to RIAs that, you know, want to continue to have their own trading desk or their hedge fund. They want to have their own trader and we'll step in, you know, when needed and requested by the client when they get into a situation where one of their traders is on vacation or they're very heavy trading days. Uh, you know, we'll start, we'll step in, we'll fill a gap and be there for them when they need it. They may not need us every day. They may only need us once in a while, but we'll be there to help them out, you know, on those days when they need it. So I just wanted to touch on the supplemental end of it as well. 
For sure. No, that makes complete sense. I appreciate that. All right. Well, let's uh, let's pivot into the the global trading capabilities next. I think that would be a, a real good topic. I think uh, Rob, you're going to take that one. Absolutely, um, for sure. Uh, like I indicated earlier, or by the way, let me step back for a second with the ARC uh, product. Just want to backfill a little bit there, John. Uh, ARC, which stands for Allocation Reconciliation Clearing, uh, the, the acronym. Mark came to me about 10 years ago and said, Rob, I worked in this wrap business, uh, you know, on the buy side, and I had about $10 billion of wrap. We, we've got to automate this. We've got to help these managers because they're all over the place. They're, they're uh, you know, we need to mitigate the uh, market impact and timing risk and opportunity costs. So there was the advent of the ARC product. It was Mark's idea. We built it. We went to one of our uh, one of these OMS providers and, and brought our IP and built that. But as far as the, the global trading uh, capabilities, uh, we're in probably 20 different countries that we can trade in local local market brokers. Uh, we have a very robust uh, fixed income desk um, that we do very large volumes. Our equity desk, we have about 20 traders, approximately 20 traders with an average uh 19 years experience on the desk. I've been on several broker dealers and I've never seen such a, a good team of experienced traders. They really, uh, you know, act as a buy side desk per se. Uh, and Mark, I think I touched on, I don't know if you want to backfill, but the, the program desk and the, the, the uh, our transition management desk is really unbelievable. I mean, for a small shop, air quotes, we're, we're handling some of the largest transition management, management trades on the street to date. We're winning over on these big household names because it's the way we get to market. We don't shop the orders. We really have the best interest of the client in hand. Uh, so, Mark, if you wanted to add something back to I might have missed, but I think I hit, hit most of the important topics. No, Rob, you touched on uh, on pretty much everything that, uh, that we handle at Capus. Uh, like Rob was saying, that we are an agency-only firm. We cannot take positions. We can't buy the last... 25,000 or 50,000 shares of a very large sell order after it's sold, you know, straight down. Uh, we cannot do that. So we don't. We're only as good as as our execution capabilities and our, our best execution that we can provide to the clients. And that's really a, a very big advantage for us because we we can trade anywhere at in any venue, any, with any broker. Right. That goes back to the flexibility of the system and the, the scalability of what you've built over time, which is great. Right. So this last slide just kind of uh, goes a little bit deeper in some of the, the, the way you guys go to market in terms of the, the processes and the pricing. Uh, maybe give a quick overview on, on how you handle this. Rob, I think I'll, I'll jump in on that one. Uh, yeah, please. Right. D depending on the level of uh, service that that let's say an outsourced trading client needs, it will be priced accordingly. If uh, if one of our clients needs soft dollars, obviously the, the cost of execution will be a little bit higher and part of the commission that we that we will uh, you know make will go into the soft dollar bucket. Uh, we do have different programs where uh, we can do direct attribution, which means we send orders to other brokers for our clients, and those brokers can settle direct with the custodians of our our RIA and hedge fund uh, hedge fund clients. So they there are ways of doing that where Capus Capus gets paid on either every trade or some of the trades, depending on how the client wants to settle those executions. Whether it's all direct with Capus or part of it direct with Capus, uh, and obviously if we're doing any kind of direct brokerage trades where we're stepping out to another broker for, let's say, a, a pension fund direction or something like that, uh, Capus won't make anything on it. So there's there are different schedules, and we're very very flexible in our pricing model with our clients. All depends on on how much service they need. And if it's just straight execution, that's one thing. If it's 
more than that and there are a lot of bells and whistles then it's obviously it's it's a little bit more costly but in the end it's um it does save the it does save the client a great deal of money over having their own desk to staff worry about vacations pay all of the the residual costs of having an employee you know it, it does it, it is a model that many many of these RIAs uh, and hedge funds are looking at. Yeah, Mark, uh, I think that's a great point. John, if you don't mind if I add on to that a bit. We had a client uh, recently that uh, the, she was getting married and the portfolio manager said, I need you on the desk. So just cases like that where something pops up. And just one other thing, I don't think we mentioned TCA. I was very integral at ITG in transaction cost analytics in the in the early 90s. And it's becoming more and more important for RIAs now to really get an analysis pre-trade and post-trade. So it's a report card. And it's, you know, you're only as good as your last trade, as the old adage says in air quotes. And and the RAs never really looked at alpha capture in trading. And we're showing that these basis points add to performance. Does that make sense, John? It does. It does. And with our client base, you know, they're they're running pretty lean operations. So any way to, similar to us, right? We uh, We outsource compliance. And uh, they could either hire somebody to do that work and, and spend a lot of overhead, or they can outsource it to us at a fraction of the cost. And it looks like you have a very, very similar model. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, great. That was a that was a great overview. I appreciate it. Um, any other maybe final points you guys would like to make before uh, before we let everybody go? Sure. I, I'd like to just say that when when we look at our relationships with our clients. We look at it as consultative. We're, we're trying to help our clients solve for many difficulties, and we use the technology that we have to, 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 really help, to really help these clients and prospects figure out what's best for them. Sometimes outsourcing is not the best thing for them. They're very complicated. They shouldn't do it, and we'll tell them, don't, don't outsource. Uh, other times we have prospects and clients come to us, and they really don't care about outsourced trading, but they care about outsourced OCIO or, you know, outsourced CIO, outsourced compliance, outsourced middle and back office. And we will refer them to partners that we have that we feel will really help them depending on the type of client they are. We're like a huge referral network for our clients and prospects. We'll, we'll send them out to, to, to the best of breed out there. And hopefully, you know, that helps them in their, uh, in their quest for for whatever outsourcing needs they have. Right. No, that makes complete sense. And I appreciate that color as you uh as you give a little more detail about the firm and how you can be helpful, which is which is fantastic. Well, Mark, Rob, I, I really appreciate you taking the time. I know it's uh it's not easy to carve out time, but this will be very valuable for people. They can uh listen to this and download it and, and hear about our services. So uh, we really appreciate uh, you taking the time to speak with Foresight today and uh, hope you have a great day. Take care and we will talk soon. Great. Thanks, John. Really appreciate the opportunity. Absolutely. Thanks again, John. Have a great day. Take care.